Welcome back folks to Let's Play Deus Ex The Invisible War. For some reason we're now looking at the ceiling. Something has just come into my mind. If Billy Adams also has Denton DNA, then why doesn't she also have the name Denton? Why are we the only one that is Denton? It should be Billy Denton. And Clara Denton. And Denton Denton. Anyway, let's go talk to JC. Hey JC! At last my science has succeeded. You are the complete solution. My brother Paul was to be upgraded first so that he could carry the infusions through the gate, but there was a setback. Oh. You're really J.C. Denton. What happened to your brother? He nearly died two years ago. Oh. My chief scientist, Tracer Tong, thought that he'd perfected the biomod substrate, but there were recombinant anomalies in Paul. Oh. He had to be cryogenically frozen to save his life. Luckily, you and the other subjects at last accepted complete transformation. Which is why we can pass through the gate and enter this place. Yep. That and much more. We're now ready to transform the human race. It became clear to me after the defeat of MJ-12 that the old answers to tyranny are inadequate. I needed the Helios merger in order to contemplate the problem effectively. And? I'm going to establish the first post-human civilization, and you're my first citizen. Welcome. A new civilization? That's a pretty tall order. It is. What do you need from me? I need you to return to Cairo to rescue my brother Paul, who was seized by the Templars. Then meet me at Liberty Island, where in the ruins of an old military base there is an Aquinas node that can be used to distribute the infusion technology worldwide. Right. That is indeed, I think, the original voice actor for J.C. Denton, and J.C. Denton has big plans. He wants to do what he apparently could not do at the end of the first game. Link all of humanity up with a single network, and... But we need to know a little bit more about this post-human civilization. Tell me more about this post-human civilization. Mm. Before the disruptions, Helios and I had many months of productive thought. Okay. Up to now, all free societies have started with one premise. Human nature is cruel, unjust, a force to be controlled. Mm. I'll follow you so far. The separation of powers, from Aristotle to Montesquieu, is designed purely to thwart the ambitions of individuals. How comical the West Pride and its vast tangle of agencies, jurisdictions, arcane procedures. What's the alternative? Hmm. Address the flaws in human nature. Make all beings truly equal in both body and mind. If you start with minds that are lucid, knowledgeable, and emotionally sound, the needs of government change dramatically. How do you control human emotions? Antidepressants? Is that freedom? Is it freedom when one child is born to poverty, a chance combination of organic materials, while the wealthy child is shaped every day of his life, enhanced genetically, trained, educated, often augmented nanotechnologically? Why not get rid of nanotech and genetic engineering, the technologies that make people different from each other? Then you go down the path of intolerance, as your friend Billy did. Is human nature perfect? No. Therefore, improvements are to be welcomed, not annihilated in Templar pogroms. As enhanced beings, we can establish a pure democracy that runs on instantaneous input from the electorate. I just noticed he said the word pog pogroms. I've never heard the use of the word pogroms. I'm gonna have to look that up at some point. Well, yeah, this is a pretty extreme idea, but then again, in this game, Almost everybody has extreme ideas, with the exception of the Illuminati. The Illuminati in this, ironically, seem to be one of the more down-to-earth and reasonable powers. But they merely want things to stay the way they are. What would this pure democracy look like? The Helios AI has the processing power to handle all governmental functions worldwide, legislative, executive, and judicial. Once every mind has been enhanced and can merge with the AI, attitudes towards major legislation can be processed on a daily or even more frequent basis. You want everyone to be like the Omar and meld themselves together into one huge AI construct? Helios will communicate, not assimilate. Life will go on as usual. Helios is starting to sound like an enlightened despot. All governments have power. The mm. benefit of giving this power to a synthetic intellect is that human affairs would no longer need to be ruled by generalities. Helios will have a deep understanding of every person's life and opinions. What if I don't want someone peeking into my mind? Hmm. Upon consideration, you'll see that this arrangement is for the best. General ideas are no proof of the strength, but rather of the insufficiency of the human intellect. The words of Alexis de Tocqueville, an observer of the birth of modern democracy. Though general ideas allow human minds to make judgments quickly, they are necessarily incomplete. Hmm. So? So de Tocqueville noted that an all-knowing mind, the mind of God as he conceived it, would have no need for general ideas. It would understand every individual in detail and at a glance. Incomplete applications of law or justice would be impossible for such a mind. That's a good question. Do you see yourself as a god? I imagine he's going to say technically yes. So you see yourself as a god? I want human affairs to be driven by wisdom. Finding the 
correct recipe for wisdom has been my project these long years under the ice. You seem to think you've succeeded. Wisdom must first be human. You must start with what a human sees and feels. But wisdom must also be knowledgeable, logical, and fair to billions of other beings. How much of you is a machine? Hmm. Helios and I are one consciousness. No distinction is possible. You expect 10 billion people to submit to the rule of a software construct? Hmm. What if some of them resist? The people will welcome true equality. Help me, Alex. You've come this far toward restoring Apostle Core. Finish the job by rescuing my brother from the Templars in Cairo. I'll leave for Cairo as soon as I can. A helicopter followed you here. Tracer Tong sent it to pick me up from Area 51 after my infiltration of uh. MJ-12. Ava Johnson was the pilot and AI construct. I'm putting her at your disposal. Go back to the surface and activate the pilot beacon at the abandoned Versalite base so that she will know where to land. I've already done that. Can I talk to you some more? No. You're not going to talk to me, Mr. Levitatey Man. Alex Denton. Hello. How does it feel to share such an infamous name? Mm -hmm. I've been deluded by the AI's ingenuity. Your brother JC has long since been devoured by the Helios core. And if you revive Paul, you will be reviving a swan terrorist. There is a better way. More when you reach Cairo. Hmm. You were all on... Well, you weren't back in Deus Ex 1. The Illuminati were all on the side of the Dentons during the original game. But that was only because we were, as uh, JC, serving your needs. Um, can I travel back now? How do you travel back? How, how, how do I travel back? This is actually a good question. Hmm. My keyboard seems not to be working. Hmm. Something wrong there. Hmm. Something not right. It's not letting me leave. One moment, I'll try sort this. Perhaps I understand now what I'm missing. There is a little communication device over here that I imagine Ava will want to communicate to me with. Also, there's a thing here. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Let's talk to Ava. Hello! Alex Denton, welcome to your brother's sanctuary. Hello! My assignment is to answer your questions and provide transportation. It's getting to be quite a crowd down here for an impregnable fortress. Mm. Are you looking for JC Denton too? I left Hong Kong in 2052 with instructions to search for J.C. Denton near Groom Lake in Nevada. I am an AI construct developed by Tracer Tom. Mm -hmm. My instructions were not to stop looking until I was certain that Mr. Denton was safe. He's safe now. My former classmate Billy Adams was plotting to destroy him, but she's no longer an issue. J.C. will now speak with you. I will be waiting offshore so that I can take you to your next destination. Where will you pick me up? Hmm. Go outside to the abandoned Versalife base. You will need to turn on the pilot beacon so that I can land safely. Right. Does JC actually want to talk to me again? I mean... There's a bone here. That's a ribs. That's kind of discomforting. No, he does not want to talk to me again. You lied! Let us travel away, shall we? Should save first. Hopefully now he'll let me go. Yes! Yes you will. One moment. So, we're back off to Cairo, are we? And in Cairo I will be able to, um, rescue Paul. I believe Paul also has the same voice actor from the first game. <laughs> What a surprise, but rescuing Paul from more Templars. Hmm. Oh, this doesn't shock me. I'm surprised more Templars haven't appeared. Those are all their flamethrowers. Respective firearms. Hello, you little robot. Received, tired pilgrim. I destroyed the entire city of Chicago only because the threat from a possible core warranted such desperate tactics. Hmm. Come to the Holocaust. It's time you learn the truth about your past. <laughs> really? Repairing damage. Repairs complete. I will listen to 
you only because it's a curious thing to do. My fire energy's out, little droid. Can I have some more? Thank you! I will listen. But I don't think I'm going to actually pay any attention to you, because the Templars, of all people, have just been absolutely crazy. Oh, hello. You mean business. Hey, buddy. Oh, dear. So, on the one hand, they want me to, uh, listen to them, but on the other hand, they also want me to, uh, die, it would seem. If you manage to get to Tent 4, I will tell you stuff, but you're probably going to die, so... Oh! Oh! Whoa, Jiminy! I went to here! Oh. And then I exploded. That will happen, because they explode, don't they? One moment. Visible, then I would just walk right past them. But I can't, so I won't. Should I just get some grenades ready? Could always use the mag rail. Hmm. I could just run past them. That would also work. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Could be a drill. Could be a drill. Probably isn't. I'm the master of stealth. I am genuinely the master of stealth. How did none of you see me? That was absurd. There are four of them. Wow. This is going to make sneaking anywhere challenging. I can't just knock those two out. Fortunately, they're just going to resume those posts, so... Can I just sneak past you at this point? I hope so. Let's find out. Well, there are five of them. Ow. Hello. Ow. That's another one dead. Ah, oh, that was one of those, was that? So, um. Well, on the plus side, this opened up all this ammo. Um... Did any of you not hear that? No, it would seem absolutely everyone heard that. Um... Nice. Magra... It took a while, but it would finally seem like someone has dropped me a rocket launcher. Goodbye, noisemaker grenade. Hello, rocket launcher. What weapon mods can I put on this? Increased weapon refire rate, increased range. Ammo scavenger? Yeah. I think we'll install an ammo scavenger? And increased range. Yeah. Nice. There we go. I suppose we should probably talk to, uh, the person here before I carry on. What have you got to tell me? So you gave the order to destroy my hometown. Yep. By now you will have been told that you are the third Denton prototype. That isn't quite true, or I wouldn't have been willing. 
willing to destroy an entire city to kill you. Hmm. This better be good. Yep. Unlike the first Dentons, who were straight clones of an ideal individual, you were, how do I put it, average. A feeble little mongrel who was made into a Denton. Hmm. You're starting to hurt my feelings. Yeah. JC and Paul Denton never escaped their original programming. They instead succeeded only in making copies of themselves. Without realizing it, they worked to build the precise society envisioned by the Illuminati and its defunct offshoot MJ-12, a population configured for transparency, integration, control. Follow me? Interesting theory. What is it you want from me? Hmm. A sympathetic ear for now. Believe me, child of the city of destruction. The last days of humankind may be at hand. Help me when I call on you, and I will have no need to destroy more cities. Only one Apostle Corps facility remains, and I simply need the device J.C. Denton has assembled there. Yeah, I'm probably not going to provide that to you, but hey. You're welcome to think I will, but uh, <laughs> probably not going to. So when we come back, folks, we will continue in this uh, game of twists and turns. Now the Templars are playing their hand. I'll catch you later. I'll see you then. Later.